Hello people, uh, welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, we're going to learn uh, embedded Kafka. Alright, again, uh, let's start with the uh, required dependency. For embedded Kafka, we only need uh, we only need Kafka Spring Kafka test. This one. See. Uh, yeah then the rest of the dependency uh, because our we're going to test um, we're going to use uh, controller actually uh, in this case we we can uh, we don't even need this because uh, we are we're not going to test the controller so basically what we need only is this spring kapka but i don't want to comment this out because i don't want to uh change the code for this yeah and so yeah so uh, uh to avoid uh changing the codes uh the existing code i will not uh remove the other dependency but for this demo the scope is just uh, embedded Kafka so what we need is actually this take note of this de particular dependency the rest of course this one of course we are using a uh, Kafka template so we need also this this uh, dependency spring Kafka and of course we need the JUnit so we need this library uh, spring boot starter test and uh, yeah uh, there are some uh, codes that uh, use uh, Lombok annotation to replace the getter setter method, but uh, the rest are not 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 really uh, uh, required for embedded Kafka. For embedded Kafka, as I said earlier, we only did this particular uh, dependency, Spring Kafka test. All right, so let's go. Uh, let's uh, go to our application properties. The one uh, we need for our uh, JUnit testing. Uh, for embedded Kafka, we basically need to configure our uh, consumer and producer Kafka, Kafka consumer and Kafka producer. The same as what we do in our actual environment. As you can see here, in my actual environment, I have the same properties. But we uh, we're not going to use this. We're going to use the the test uh, version. This one, right? So uh, yeah, we are. This is required for our embedded Kafka. Let's go to our JUnit test case. So this is our test class. This is our embedded Kafka. Embedded Kafka. As I said, uh, this is the, let me double confirm. So this is Spring Kafka Test. This is the one in uh, uh, I showed you earlier in the POM. Kafka Test, right? So, yeah. So uh, in the embedded Kafka, we need to uh, pass these parameters. We basically don't need to, to change anything on this. This is something you can copy and paste. We have the partition. Uh, control shutdown must be fall, uh, yeah, false then broken properties uh, we just put this local host then 9292 I think you can change the port to our desired uh, port but I suggest uh, just use this as it is as I already tested this one and it's uh, working uh, I use a uh, test for active profiles because as you can see here I it has suffix test so at this one not necessary you can remove this but if you remove this make sure to rename this uh, to uh, get rid of this uh, to drop I mean the suffix test okay all right then this is the one we are going to test Kafka producer Kafka producer okay so in our Kafka producer, we're sending messages, of course, to tap this particular topic and whatever message we send. We simply use the API Kafka, Kafka template, which is this one. This is provided by the Kafka uh, library, uh, Kafka template, see? Under this uh, 
under this package so if you go to that's why uh we need to, to include this uh library cap spring kafka for because we're using the kafka template to send messages yeah so we're using this api to send messages so let's let me test this one uh let's let us verify if we can send messages as you can see here i do not have any running uh uh i don't have a, i do not have any running uh kafka container we so we are just the, uh depending on our cap embedded kafka this one okay so let me test uh if we can send messages this one this is our topic and this is our message okay so uh, that, uh okay let me explain also the because we need to verify if we can receive this right so we can if we send message of course we have to receive it also right normally uh in our client we have code like this uh receive message okay let, let me go to this uh receive uh method so in this receive, uh, receive mess method uh again we use a kafka template to uh receive the message from whatever temp topic we specify okay so again uh this is just simple uh very straightforward we don't have any logic here we just simply receive the template and we just uh uh print it out okay whatever uh value or message we get from this particular topic okay as you can see also i set a uh, consumer factory this consumer factory uh it is required when you are receiving when you are coding this uh, api we have to set this uh, uh consumer factory okay so take note of that uh uh as you can see we uh, this is the object right we have to uh con we have to create a bin i mean you have to configure this so this is the configuration for uh consumer factory uh we basically need to create this object default kafka consumer factory and pass this configuration okay again this configuration is pointing to our local host uh, lo lo uh, local Kafka container this is the group ID the string for our uh, serializer, uh, serializer and the serializer okay all right so yeah so this is the configuration so let's test our uh, embedded Kafka if it's whether it's working or not for our uh, to, uh, basically we will and in this particular test case we will send we will test our uh, sender which or the producer message producer and the receiver message receiver okay in one test case all right so let's run it i think it's better to put uh yeah i already put some let me clear it first so first we're going to test the the sender which is this one let's put a break there and receiver let's put, uh, yeah here all right i want to see also the value all right so let's go here let's test so uh, let's check the lag see the how our embedded kapka is working all right so now we send message we send message to this one test topic and um, the message is hello world one two three all right so once we send this we expect we we are going to this uh we are going to receive it also here because in our test case we after sending message we sleep for three seconds and then we receive whatever we send all right so let's resume all right so now so now we are calling this receive to receive the message from from this particular topic all right let's 
So what we expect here, we should receive hello world one, two, three, right? Because that's the message we send. So here we expect hello world. All right, see, it's hello world one, two, three. So it's working, right? Ah, uh, yeah, okay. I want to sh I want to uh, I want to show another approach to the same message this time we are not going to manually receive it we are going to instead of manually receiving it we are going to use a, a listener so let's comment this out uh, yeah so we don't need this anymore also we know we don't need this configuration anymore also right all right so let's go now so again let me go through here we don't need the receiver so once we set the message once we once we send this message we expect this message will be consumed by uh, a client so in this case i create a simple consumer here this one so if you want to consume it you have to use a kafka listener annotation okay say so we pass what uh what is the topic and the group id is uh everything star, star means everything okay whatever message we send to this topic we will uh, uh consume so okay let's put a break here so what we expect here after sending message uh this consumer uh this uh listener will consume whatever message we send okay so let me verify it oh, no. okay here Okay, it should be almost the same. All right, so now we are sending message to this topic. Test topic one, the same message, hello one, two, three, use. So we're going to send message using Kafka template, okay? Take note, this Kafka template is provided by our library, okay? Kafka, uh, Spring Kafka, okay, this one. All right, so let's send the message. Uh, we expect uh, taking some time. We expect, uh, wait, it's, it didn't stop. Sorry about that. It's supposed to uh, stop here, right? Receive message in group. Let me uh, clear the lag again. So I think something's wrong. Let me uh, refresh the code. Let put let me put break here. So once we send here, it will stop. Why we need uh, to sleep here? Because the embedded uh, Kafka container will. Uh, shut down right so we want to make sure by the time it shut down we we receive first the message so we give some time for our consumer to listen otherwise if we don't uh if we don't put sleep here we won't be able to listen because after executing this the our test uh our yeah our uh spring boot test uh engine will uh, shut down the embedded kafka container that's why we put a slip here okay so let me run it again but the before i run it let me dub my let me check first the code the send it will send after sending it 
after sending it will listen to this okay let me run again uh, let me clear the lag so we can see it clearly So let, now let's send a message. Let's assume. All right. Okay. So now we're calling the Kafka template to send the message. All right. Ah uh, no. Uh, let's. Now it's working. You see, uh, this is our Kafka listener. It stopped here. The message we are going to consume now is this is is a hello world message okay this is the one we sent earlier okay now we are consuming it using the kapka listener okay so it's working guys uh thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video until next time peace